All right, guys, we are back again. Um, if you have not watched the previous episode, go ahead and watch the previous episode because without establishment of that, you cannot watch this second episode. So do not come and watch this second episode. Again, again, you have to watch the first episode to understand how stats matter in Pegaxi. Now, for those who have watched uh, our first episode, this is going to be... Anyway, this is going to be a quick, quick recap for you. Last time when we were seeing stadium stats and uh, we had first had to gather this intel or gather this theory with proof that which stats in a stadium gives a pega, doesn't matter which pega it is, a pega, a higher percentage to win and that was going to be uh, your race weather wind speed um, race weather wind direction then race weather lightning and then race weather fire for me I'm using a 60% keyboard and I do not have those uh, more than less than sign for some reason so I've written down in words race weather wind speed should be more than race weather direction that should be more than race weather lightning and then comes race weather fire and then comes humidity okay now remember this wherever you see this weather direction it's actually uh, weather wind direction and this is very critical remember this word wind because a lot of the places in datas i am seeing wind being repeated and there is a very big correlation to wind we're going to come back to that we, with this uh, next chart where we are going to start tracking so remember this whole thing in mind. I've taken that into stats correlation also. But from this first chart, this is your most, most important part. So remember this, okay? This is one of your most important part. Wind rewards more in a stadium. Um, more in a stadium. I will declare the, this. I'll delete this more in a stadium that has I'm gonna write this uh, very very important so remember this this is very very important to understand now this has got nothing to do with your Pegas as of now but it has everything to do with you developing a concept of why is it so now we enter into stats correlation now um in stats correlation what i have done for you guys is i have done something um less small i've done a shorter version i have a previous version like a 3000 data version i have not given you the 3000 data version because it's too big and huge for you to comprehend you'll be confused about this but i've kept it short where i have only put 36 okay even though um thank you hernando i had compared your data in the previous one so i think hernando and special mention to one dude out here who was the first one that's going to be uh skeeter uh skeeter e z n o r n 9 n he had given us a very very important concept and he was the first one to publish his report my reports are tiny bit different than his but very similar to this now remember this this guy deserves a kudos from the channel why because he was also the first one to publish his report according to 6000 remember this i did 3000 he did 6000 horse races and uh of first place finishes i did around about 500 first place finishes with total data of 3000 so he did double the work in double in uh, three times less time than i took to do the analysis i just had to do it because i was working two jobs and has to work overnight into all of this stuff so thank you great job buddy I, and um, I we really appreciate from the channel that you did also something very very similar that I was looking for so thank you a lot and um, we are going to head over to stream recording now in this stat 
ah again i have to go to this thing i don't know why this doesn't fit but anyways now in this stat we are going to compare speed strength lightning wind water fire two tracks wind speed wind direction weather humidity weather light and weather fire okay do not jump into conclusion yet what i want you to understand is that we are comparing speed versus everything at first strength versus everything at first uh lightning versus all the track data at first wind versus all the track data water versus all the track data fire versus all the track data to establish that your pegas speed how is it affecting a tracks um data you know so if a speed on a pega is more how is it impacting to different track state so that's what we are going to find out in this video and uh, let's check this out really quick so speed actually you know you guys can go through all this but i am going to show you this chart where i have uh, written down a small description hold on a second let's change screen again let's head over to stream watch so after comparing more than you know 500 data on this stuff um we found out that strength speed lightning wind water fire that's how i've written it down you will see highest is high, their correlation which is 0.2 and above higher is also their correlation which is 0.1 to 2 high is 0.0.1 lower than 0 means that it is negatively correlated because these two data do not move with each other and 0 is inconclusive you know like like to be honest should not even exist now in this we have not talked about spherman's row i'm keeping spherman's row out of this analysis only because Spearman's row is a mess for an analysis like this. It's I'm just going to keep it purely Pearson correlation. Okay, I cannot put Spearman's row because it's just unnecessarily confusing. So now watch this. Strength of a pega has got highest correlation with wind direction, higher correlation with wind race, speed race. and it has got high correlation with wind humidity that means your strength is impacting a stadium's wind direction impacting speed impacting humidity has got no correlation with these two okay your speed is at par with your strength so speed and strength is more or less going together but your speed has got higher not the highest you'll see your color coding out here um speed is not that much but speed has got a very high high correlation on a stadium with higher weather fire okay lightning again is going to be ha is having a highest correlation with the race wind humidity and is having a high correlation of weather and light your wind remember this wind out of all of this chart all of this chart has got the highest correlation which is shocking for me because how come wind has the highest correlation above everything so a pega with higher wind stats now remember this it doesn't mean that a pega min pega with nine win stats is always going to win no a pega with higher win stats stats has got higher probability to to win a race or be very close to from first to the third position so wind is 0.43 which is the highest wind direction is 0.29 which is higher and humidity which is 0.07 which is high so wind has got the highest correlation impacting the race highest water again i did not find any significance of water except it impacting weather fire race weather fire now fire has probably 
got better correlation than your speed. A Pegasus speed and Pegasus fire capabilities has got bigger correlation than compared to, uh, you know, like water and then compared to lightning. So that's how I made this table. And literally after the table, you will see I brought those stadium stats um, or tra track stats back. So we are going to finish this episode by letting you know that if you compare winds, uh, if you compare strength, strength is affecting only two parts of a stadium, which is speed and direction, race wind speed and race wind direction. Uh, speed doesn't have that much of a correlation, but speed is definitely affecting a lot in um, weather fire, as you can see. Lightning has got a very kind of a low correlation in the humidity arena of this one. But wind, again, has got a very, very big correlation and it's affecting literally the whole race. The whole race is affected by wind. And water, you will see, has got a little bit correlation. And um, again, fire, again, you will see that has got a good correlation. So just by observing this chart, you will see that wind race, wind direction, three important stats is strength, wind, and fire. That will be all from the channel because it's 12 minutes. And next episode, you guys are going to get the final, final analysis from me. My thoughts, my stance after watching through all this data, which is verified and a very big confusion also is coming up. So I've got two opinions. Depends on which opinion you're going to take. Um, I go for the logical one, which I'm going to share on next episode. Thank you for watching Techadoo. If I had wasted 12 minutes of your time, leave this video right now. Do not even have to bother with comment, comment section or anything. Or if I have helped to understand concepts, I think I deserve a like and I deserve that subscribe button, which is probably somewhere out there. Right, right out there, I think so. Anyways, adios, sayonara, signing off. See you guys tomorrow. Um, actually, within a few hours when I'm going to drop my third video. So keep an eye on that. Goodbye.